I never knew that your ambition could grow with you as you mature and as you achieve different goals. Keep watching to find out what that has to do with today's video. Hey, it's Kyla Denayo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, <laughs> Unapologetically Ambitious. The author of the book is Shelley Archambault. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is business economics, okay? So this book, really, really, really great book, okay? First of all, it starts with a love story. And so you're like, okay, what does this have to do with it? But Shelly met her husband working at IBM and she moved up the ranks at IBM and then she became CEO of all these different places. And so I knew the book would be about ambition. Duh, it's called Unapologetically Ambitious. But there was one quote in the book that I absolutely loved, okay? So let me share that with you. So in the book, Shelly actually says that her ambition grew with her. Now, I have never heard anyone say that. I've seen and I've heard of a lot of different interviews where really famous, really important, really, you know, accomplished people say, oh, I've always been ambitious. Oh, when I was a little kid, I was always like outselling all the Girl Scouts. <laughs> I got some Girl Scout cookies here. Shelly said that her ambition grew with her. She had an idea. She knew she wanted to be CEO before she was 40 but she would achieve one goal and then she would work on another and she would achieve another one and then and she said that her ambition grew with her and i had never heard anyone say that before and i gotta say i loved it that because i never had anything set in mind where i was like oh i have to achieve this by this age or i have to achieve that by that age but she did to a point like and you're like oh my goodness she sets a goal she meets it she excels she even met her husband and she was like this is the goal i have in mind if you think that's great we can work if you don't think it's great right she was like i'm gonna reach this goal and they did it and it was so cute if you read the book you will see that she does stick to the stuff that she says she even wore that coat for both of her pregnancies <laughs> okay and that'll make sense to you if you read the book so i'm so happy that you found this video while you are here, go on and subscribe to the channel. That way you can always get book reviews that I have coming out. Make sure you click the little bell so that you're always notified when new videos come out as well, all right? But yeah, so I absolutely love that her ambition grew with her. And I like that because it doesn't put a cap on my ambition, right? Where I am right now at this age is where I am, but my ambition can grow and I can change in the future, okay? Another thing that Shelly says that I really appreciate it is dismantling imposter syndrome is not a one-time thing. So I found all these books because I'm going through the Confidence series, right? And so I was looking for all these books because I was like, how can I get things going? I need to, you know, push yourself, rah, rah, you can do it. Okay, so I'm getting over this hurdle right now, 2023 but I could have some more struggles in 2024. I could have some more struggles at the end of 2023. Dismantling imposter syndrome is not a one-time thing. Now, if that doesn't give you some freedom, take some pressure off of you to not only have to rise to the occasion right now, but have to rise to the occasion for the rest of your life, no. Because dismantling imposter syndrome is not a one-time thing. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> so, would I reread the book? unapologetically ambitious absolutely absolutely now i will say i probably will skip over some chapters and only get to the stuff that's really pertinent to me at the moment but absolutely i would reread the book this was a great book to read and look at her she's so fun like you're reading the book i had no idea what she looked like but i'm reading it i'm reading it and then i'm like man you know like i'm picturing her in my head and then I flipped the book over and turned to the back and got to see. And I do that intentionally. I try not to look at the authors when I'm reading about them. And yeah, and I was like, wow, you know, her life was so incredible. So thank you for hanging out with me today as we discuss the book Unapologetically Ambitious. All right. Let me know, do you enjoy books about business? Do you enjoy nonfiction books? Okay. And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.